Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. What does it mean to compare? It means to find what is the same. Let's see how my shoes are the same. They both have bows on them and they're both black. And they both have straps on them. I listen for the word pair. The word compare. A pair is two things. A pair is two things like two hands. A pair is like two eyes. Let's compare my pair of hands. They both have thumbs. They both have pinkies. When we contrast, we find what is different. This body part is the foot, and you could tell by the toes. This body part is a hand. You can tell by the fingers. So, if I compare these parts, they're both parts of the body. But if I contrast them, this one is a hand, and this one is a foot. A long time ago, there was a man. His name was John Fish. <laughs> He was <laughs> an intellectual. He thought of a good way to help people compare and contrast. He thought of this idea. These Venn diagram glasses help me to see what is the same and what is different. Compare and contrast. If they're alike, they go in the middle, and if they're different, they go on the sides. I can compare and contrast lots of things in a story. This story's characters are turtles. In contrast, this story's characters are fish. The characters are the same because they're both animals. I can contrast the setting of these two stories because this one takes place on land. And this story setting is underwater. Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. If they're alike, they go in the middle, and if they're different, they go on the sides.